made it. So what is up guys? I hope you guys are having a good solid first few days of the new year. What is it, like the first week I think? Yeah, it's still the first week. Oh, this guy pass. He's got like a racing quad or something. God, it's pretty out here though. It does feel a lot better right now than it did in the deep sand that we did the last video. It's such a different bike. When you get on this compared to the Hawk, like I'd be, the Hawk wouldn't be too bad on this road, which makes sense, you know, it is, it's a huge, it's a big difference in terms of how much bike you have to deal with. But uh, yeah, I think the more, the more skill and confidence I build up, with this bike off-road, I think the better, the better and better we'll get, the more, com more fluid we'll get with this, but man, even this little road right here, I know this doesn't look like much, but it's a lot for me right now. <laughs> it feels really planted, it's just, you know, you can feel it kind of like moving around underneath you, and I'm not used to having such a heavy bike move around that much underneath me like this, but you know, you just gotta try to trust your instincts, you know, learn, you know, like even like on the small bike, on the Hawk, like if, if you cut the throttle, your front end digs into the depth, to the ground, to the sand. So you don't do that on the Hawk. You definitely don't want to do this on this. Do that on this. It's crazy. I don't know what these fields are for, but... Oh, there's some cows over there, some cattle. Oh, yeah. Also, I got new boots. Um, yeah, look at those. They're, uh, these are a lot more like shoe-like when you put them on. The ones that I had before, the O'Neill Riders, they're pretty good, but they're uh, you know, they're, they're moto boots. They're, that's what they're made to for. They're made to like be super protective. So when it comes to riding on these, this type of bike, it's it's almost impossible because they go all the way up to your knee almost. And on this bike, your knees are a little bit more bent than on the Hawk. So it's just, it's like, I couldn't move my feet at all with the moto boots. So these I go like, they go right above my calf. And they, they fit really good. I like them so far. And uh, we'll see how they hold up. But I love walking around in these things. Feels so good compared to the moto boots that I had, the O'Neill Rider boots. So that's a huge upgrade. I got a new I got a new mod it's a new C, it's a CSC mod so it's a factory upgrade part but it wasn't supposed to work the way I made it work but that's okay that's okay <laughs> let's just say I had a lot a little bit of salsa action involved with the installation of this new part <laughs> now hopefully the oh, you'll see you'll see <laughs> so I was looking a little more I know last time in the deep sand stuff that we did I said I wanted more of a deeper gear like a lower gear and uh, I was looking into it. I think this already comes with a 13 tooth, because the only shoot, the only aftermarket sprocket I could find was a 13 tooth. So I figured, I read somewhere that this is a 14, but the CSC RX3 is a 14, and this is a, or is a 13. This is my lit. This is my not my dominant side. That's okay. We got outriggers out for safety. <laughs> That's the side that I need to work on turning right. I like to have control of the brake. That's why I like turning left so much. I don't know, what do you guys think? What's your dominant side, left or right? <laughs> oh, look at the pupper. What's up, pupper? 
It's a nice bike. Or not really bike, oh, nice quad. <laughs> oh, his hat fell off. Woo! <laughs> God, this thing scares me when I go through, when it starts to do shit like that. All right. There we go, getting a little bit, a little more aggressive with it. Oh wow. This looks like a pretty good like, place to stop and check the bike out. Here's the bike and if, I don't know if y'all can see the upgrade I did or the change. But it looks like I got, a new, I got a new rack. And yes, this is not supposed to go with these this luggage system, but I thought it would, but it doesn't. <laughs> so this is supposed to go with that $850 option. Or you can buy this alone and run no luggage, but I still wanted the side t things. The one that it comes with, the factory one, it, it's not bad, but it kind of looks like something's missing, you know? Like there's, it didn't, it doesn't look right to me. So I went with this. All we had to do was kind of cut these parts off, and then later on, I want to try to build supports to tie back in with it, you know? Like some weld something here and then bolt it to here, and same thing on that side. But that'll be later down the road. For now, it fits on there. <laughs> I think it looks so much better with that rear part. And uh, yeah, the other one, it just kind of looked weird. The little like points on the end. I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't my thing. Well, that was fun. Now we're back on smooth, smooth pavement. <laughs> Mostly smooth. That's a good little road to like kind of practice how to ride on the soft sand with this big bike. So I might have to go back there more often, just kind of learn how to get the feel for it, get that technique down and get more comfortable with it. Know what's rattling but something's rattling oh we're gonna go on the highway so hopefully we're still recording it's like it's so stable on the highway 70, 75. Uh, I ordered a new transponder because uh, my old one went kaputs and uh, kept getting toll violations. And I don't have one on me at all now, so we're going to get another toll violation. Oh well. <laughs> I would say, like, top speed is. is you, you, you can get up there, but. In terms of comfortable cruising speed, it's like 70, 75.
a lot of bumps on that one. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little bit more comfortable on this thing. It's a lot different than the Hawk Off Road, that's for sure. But yeah, thank you guys for stopping along. It would be awesome if y'all subscribed. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.